One of the things that I've said almost from the beginning of the 2020 bear market, and fairly steadily since, is that this has acted more like an oversized or overstretched stock market correction than the way a typical bear market acts. Now, by correction, that's normally defined as a drop of more than 10%, but less than 20%, that kind of comes out of nowhere pretty darn fast, relatively steep, has a scary story, ends and reverses about as fast as it came within a bull market, and moves on to new highs. That scary story ends up not derailing the economy or the world, and bull market moves on. A bear market is typically a drop of more than 20%, tends to precede normal economic recession, tends to be slower and longer a year or two, typically has two-thirds of the magnitude drop of the bear market in the last one-third of its duration of all bear markets in measured history over 55% of the drop comes in the last three months. But in that, this one was led down by smaller stocks, bigger stocks that led the market beforehand and growthier ones with fat gross operating profit margins fell less. Then they bounced back more and that's the way more typically corrections act. Secondarily, this was a fast drop off the top, fastest ever, into bear market territory in 16 trading days with no prior warning. In that, that's more like a correction. In that, the market, which normally pre-prices things sort of three to 30 months off into the future, move to the very short end of its pre-pricing to pre-price those lockdowns, which are unprecedented. The lockdowns aimed at uh, uh, slowing the growth of coronavirus. In that, that steep drop and the action that looks and behaves more like a correction than a bear market, but big as a full-scale bear market, probably argues that if we keep acting that way, we will actually continue on the path of the types of things that acted best in the prior bull market, which is what normally happens in the aftermath of a correction. And therefore, my view is it still makes sense now when so many others are biased and therefore pre-priced to want to own smaller in value stocks to be aimed at those same kinds of stocks that were doing the best in the last few years of the long bull market that we had. Subscribe to the Fisher Investment YouTube channel if you like what you've seen. Click the bell to be notified as soon as we publish new videos.